What is up guys, it's a wanted turtle and we did core 2019 we started guilds of Ravnica and today we're going with the last one Ravnica Allegiance we're starting a box of that one as well in prep for War of the Spark um, the big story is coming gonna come to a conclusion soon so we need to prep we're going to open up all the boxes and uh, yeah, see if we can't pull some really good stuff for in this set we're looking for the hydroid crisis we're looking for as many shock lands as we can find and then there's some other super really strong rares like smothering tithes um and i think uh bedevil bedevil is also in that set so a lot of good stuff to pull let's get into it all right ravnica allegiance since release uh, i honestly haven't opened much of this set so we're kind of excited to get back into it um i feel like I, ooh, stage is coming down i feel like after the initial wave like i almost opened too much of it where i was getting a little not bored but like all right i've seen all these cards already uh so then after quite a long break excited to get back into it so many good cards and uh yeah i think it's a pretty good set i feel it's i feel like there's a little bit more variety than guilds and some cool better mechanics so as always we'll go through the commons for maybe for the first couple packs and then we'll kind of speed through it so we got a spike wheel acrobat Haas the officer arrester's ad admonition savage smash noxious grudoin grudian steeple creeper it almost looks like a mirror is it a mirror oh, it's a, a frog snake <laughs> okay uh blade juggler it's a pretty good card a watchful giant and then final payment ill-gotten inheritance archway angel for the uncommon code of constraint combined guild mage and then tome of the guild pack I feel like we get so many of these and then the put it off to the side <clears throat> okay so slow start there's even some pretty good um uncommons the uh terror man is just like a one mana flyer very useful then there's uh kind of is uh in my opinion one of the most important parts of like the uh mono blue deck that kind of won the the big mythic mythic edition challenge root snare raptor demon the yeah the recto stuff is pretty most of the art is pretty nice as well blade brand windstorm drake that's uncommon a Gates of Blaze, Essence Capture, this one, target, oh, target, creature, okay, and then Font of Agonies, not a very good card, but that is a great art, quite horrific. <laughs> Alright, slow start. Alright, I think we're gonna... Kind of just sift through these, see if there's anything cool we want to... Ooh, look at that. Thirsting Shade, that looks pretty cool. And then we'll pick up the base. Alright, Sun Shaman, Forbidding Spirit, and then... Ooh, Kai's Wrath. This is a very good card, um, as far as board wipes go. And, uh... Especially for the control decks where, uh, you know, with mono red, mono blue, you might have to be low on life. And so this is, you know, not only does it clear the board for you, but it, it'll regain a little bit of life. And then we have a Undercity Scavenger for a foil common. And the art is pretty cool as well. Actually, the, um, the Kaya, the Mythic, or the Planeswalker, I feel like the price is spiked recently so hopefully we can pull one of those as well we got a gate colossus a rhythm of the wild it's a pretty good card it's off the side a Zorius sky guard and then incubation druid that's pretty good as well it's a uh, can be after you adapt it um so after you adapt it, it can become a very strong ramper although it's Adapting is quite expensive, but uh, the the adapt mechanic 
well, it's, I guess it, a lot of stuff revolves, like, the Riot stuff kind of revolves around, like, whether or not you want the plus one counter, but, um, to be honest, the adapt mechanic, I feel is kind of meh. Ooh, Sarah for the scales. I feel like this card has gone down in value recently, but it, I feel like it's very, uh, it's in so many decks right now. It's just very flexible. You can give it uh, Death Touch, Vigilance, and then there's Afterlife as well. So, very good pull right there. Uh, one of the better mythics. Not definitely. There's, there's, it's a uh, upper tier, but not, you know, not the top tier by any means. All right, we got it. Eyes everywhere. Senate Guild Mage, a Wall of Lost Thoughts, and then, ugh, split cards, Revival and Revenge. No foils yet. Try opening it like this. There we go. Actually, that's a pretty efficient way to do it. All right, so we got Basilica Bell Hunt. A tower defense, Finks of the Guild Pack, and then eh, you're not that good. All right, so everyone excited. <laughs> this card is so silly. Shark to crab. What I. What is going on there? The, uh, do you remember what the, is it Simic? The green blue is very strange. Um, yeah, the War of the Spark is going to be absolutely insane. A Plains Walker per pack. Pure Precinct 1. I feel like this card is used a lot in, in many different decks as well. Uh, can kind of get a little bit out of control over time. Where it just keeps spawning a lot of tokens. But yeah, Plains Walker every pack. There's, and they're no longer all mythic. Which is probably the only way to do that. I feel like that presents a lot of interesting uh, potential. Hopefully they don't. Hopefully that's just for War of the Spark. Uh, otherwise the the Planeswalker would be a little too diluted. All right, let's see. What we gotta consecrate and consume. Look at this one. <laughs> Jesus, drill bit. Another one. Collision and class. I think that one's actually pretty good as well. And then Simic Ascendancy. Put plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. Whenever more plus one plus one counters. Um, if Simic Ascendancy has 20, oh boy, 20. Jesus. But I feel like even the uncommon, the rare, if you can get the foil of the Planeswalker, I feel like those have very good like long-term value. Just because Planeswalkers are always very, um, you know, they just, they're a lot cooler <laughs> than the cards or than all the other stuff. But um, once once you kind of flood the game with a bunch of them, like that'll probably be less so. But when it comes to foil commons, uncommons, or rares, I think those ones will definitely always be a good um, a good card to have. Oh, Mortify. A rumbling ruin, and then glass of the guild pack. I feel like this card looks pretty cool. Um, I feel like it didn't amount too much, and then a foil common. All right, so we did get a pretty good mythic. No, no shocklands though, which is a little confusing. So I have two packs left. All right, we got a Sunder Shaman, Smelt Ward Ingus, a Swirling Torrent, and then, ooh, Smothering Tithe. This card is so good right now. I think it's largely because of Commander. All right, so imagine if you have a bunch of opponents. Whenever an opponent draws a card, you may pay two, if, and then essentially you keep getting these uh, artifacts that can basically give you a mana. And then imagine just having that for the entire game. Absolutely insane. So yeah, that card's like double digits for, for a rare, that's crazy. And the uh, the one that I thought was going to take off was the, uh, uh, what's it called? The one that's kind of like a weakened Thalia. 
And uh, so I bought a bunch of them. What? <laughs> it didn't move. I think it might have went down in price. All right, for the last pack, we got a Orzaz Racketeers. High alert. A code of constraint. And then, ooh, okay, two mythics. Very nice. Um, one pretty good one. And then this one is, uh, it's, it's okay. Um, definitely uh, one of the uh, not top tier, but two two solid mythic pulls. So very happy with that. Uh, and there we have it. We're we're going into every box. We're going to open up all of them and time try to time it so that uh, when we finish this Ravnica Allegiance box or when we finish all three of them, then uh, we can jump head first into War of the Spark. It's going to be absolutely insane. Stay tuned for lots of those videos once I get my boxes, of course. So it'll probably be a short delay after release. Uh, but as always, thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the channel, please hit that like button down below. Subscribe for future content. I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.